I am Dana K. White of a slobcomesclean.com and author of Decluttering at the Speed of Life and Organizing for the Rest of Us. I am going to assume that by the time I put this video out there, you know, I'll be talking about my new book. Um, anyway, so I am moving and I think I'm moving. And I say that I think I'm moving because um, we haven't moved in like 15 years and I always hear these things of, oh, it fell through the, I don't know why it would fall through. So I'm just assuming that I'm moving. Um, anyway, so I'm talking about the process that I'm making up as I go along based on what I've learned for the last 15 years living in this house, not moving, but decluttering like nobody's business to get it finally under control. The house that we're moving to is actually bigger than this house. And I know what I would have been like in the past moving to a bigger house. I would have been like, wow, I can get more stuff. Um, and instead I have realized the beauty of embracing the actual size of the home that I'm living in. And I know that I have a low clutter threshold, meaning I cannot keep a whole lot of stuff under control in my house. It's just not possible for me and how my brain works, okay? So I need to have less stuff. So here's, here are my goals. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep you updated on how this is going. My goal is to get rid of things and only move things that I'm like, yes, legitimately, this is gonna deserve a space in my new house. And I want to embrace the size of the next house that I'm moving to, even though it's bigger. Okay. So knowing me and knowing that I do not have, it's very hard for me to predict how much I will be able to have space for in a space that I'm not actually seeing in front of me. That's just how I, my brain works. I am using boxes to help me embrace the container concept. Okay. So I'll tell you how it goes. Anyway, what I did was I ordered from I think it was from uhaul.com. I went on there and they had a package that is supposed to be for a three to four bedroom house. The house we're in right now is three bedrooms. The house that we're moving to is four bedrooms. Um, and so I said, okay, I'm gonna order this package. Now as a super frugal person who's like, oh, well, you know, you can go get boxes from, um, you know, different retailers, grocery stores that are giving away boxes, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That is absolutely a thing and it's absolutely what you should do if you need to. But I decided to spend the money. It was around $300, which is hurt, painful in my heart, okay? But I decided to spend the money because I wanted, like, this is what is supposed to fit in a three to four bedroom house. Like, this is supposed to cover what we need in a three to four bedroom house, okay? And so, the container concept is this. The size of the space that you have is the size of the space that you have. You put your favorite things in it first and whatever doesn't fit needs to go. It can't stay and the how the space actually stay under control. This applies to every basket, every bin, every drawer, every shelf. The entire house itself is a container, okay? And is a limit to how much. So I'm like, okay, then if I have boxes that are supposed to fit a three to four bedroom house worth of stuff, then I need to only move and take into my new house what will fit in these boxes. And that's painful and I get it. And we're gonna see, this is at the beginning. This is not me telling you that I've figured out this is how to do it. This is me experimenting for the whole world to see. Anyway, um, so yeah, here we go. Here's the reverse understanding of this concept, looking back at how I did things wrong when we moved the last time, okay? So, not that I ordered boxes. Um, I'm pretty sure I, you know, scrounged and all that kind of stuff to get free boxes last time. The house that we moved out of, okay, the last time that we moved was 1,750 square feet, not square meters. Those of you who are um, in other areas of the world where you use meters, square feet, okay? So it's probably a third the size of what this is me making it up, of what a 750 square meter house would actually be. Maybe, right? I don't know. Um, anyway, so square, 1,750 square feet. I got a U-Haul that was for, I got the biggest U-Haul they had because I knew I had a lot of stuff. I didn't quite understand, you know, anything that I've understood over the last 12 years of my deslobification process, but I, and I knew I had a lot of stuff. And so I got a U-Haul that was supposed to fit a house 
that had like 3,200 square feet. So almost twice the size of the house I was moving out of. Filled it up, had to get another smaller U-Haul, um, also filled a truck, two minivans, and I'm sure other car loads, okay? So I did not do this correctly because I didn't understand that the, my house was the limit to how much stuff I could have. I just thought I needed to get organized. <laughs> anyway, so that was 15 years ago. Um, rock bottom was 12 years ago when I started, you know, recording my process of trying to figure this out um, on slobchemsclean.com. Anyway, so that's why this time I'm trying to be, I'm trying, I, I, I ordered the set of boxes to force myself into being realistic about how much stuff I was taking because my personality is I would gather as many boxes that I could, I would fill them up and then go get more boxes because duh, right? And yet I don't want to do that. I don't want to start out with excess. I would rather start out with less stuff than I need in my next house because I've learned from experience how hard it is once that stuff is there to get it out, okay? I've done it, but it's really hard. So that's why I ordered this set. Now I have to do math and math is hard, um, but uh, just so you know, on the thing that I, I did the three to four bedroom house and um, you can like say, no, I don't want the tape and the packing material and all that kind of stuff. Or you know what? I actually need more of the small boxes and blah. So you can adjust it. It just gives you like, this is what we recommend for that size of a house. And they were right about the U-Haul size, at least, you know, I learned the hard way that I should not have brought that much stuff into my new house. Um, this house is like 2000 square feet that I'm in right now. So I should realistically be able to pack into these boxes, have what I need. We're going to see how that goes. Okay. Um, so what I'm planning to do is divide it up and say, okay, I am going to give the majority of the boxes, small and medium ones to, um, the kitchen. All right. And then I'm going to divide it up according to bedrooms and people. So, um, each of my kids is going to get, you know, a number of boxes. So I'm doing the math on that. Okay. And then I'm going to give everybody their boxes and I'm assuming that there will be people who don't use all their boxes and there will be people who need more boxes and we'll kind of adjust from there. But I want to have a, Hey, this is what you need to pack your room up in so that they have the opportunity, which is a beautiful opportunity to put their favorite things in first, because just that action of saying, this is the space that I have to fill. I'm going to put my favorite stuff in first naturally sorts out things that I don't actually want. Okay. Using the container as the limit is incredibly freeing for the person whose brain otherwise goes, I want to keep it all because what if I could use it someday? Okay. All right. So I'm letting the space be the bad guy, but I think this one might have other supplies in it. So I'm going to open that up and see what's in it. And y'all get to be as surprised as me. I know I ordered it, but I'll still be surprised. This is the wardrobe boxes. I really debated on the wardrobe boxes, whether or not they were necessary for a fairly local move. Um, then I decided to go for it. So we'll see. So they sent me, ah! they sent me, I'm gonna let y'all know if this is the right amount of tape. I am gonna say, oh my word. I am gonna say that um, it's kind of nice for them to decide how much tape I need because I can see myself getting two and then, um, you know, having to go like three more times <laughs> to get more. Okay, and they sent me two um, of these packages with markers and think, this is not sponsored by the way. Not that I'm not gonna find an affiliate link if they have them and put that with the video if it has it, but no, this is all like my own real money. Okay, I probably did not need this. I don't know if there's gonna be others of that, this in there but it's like a mattress sealer. If I was moving a long distance, well, I don't know, maybe I will use it, we'll see. Okay, so that's what was in there. Now I'm gonna go do some math. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've been doing some math. It was 308.71, by the way, but I could have taken out anything along the way um, as far as like individual items. I think I'm gonna start everybody out 
personally with three medium and two small boxes. That doesn't include clothes. We also, everybody also gets a wardrobe box. Um, my boys will share one because they don't have a lot of hanging clothes. So I'm gonna start everybody out with that. I don't know, I'm gonna start with that and we're gonna see. And they can always come and get more, but the goal is going to be to have a smaller set of boxes. This gives you an idea of how big a medium box is, okay? I do like these handles. Um, I always like a box that has handles and these have handles. So maybe that'll make me even more okay with the fact that I spent money. I will talk to you guys next week. Maybe about moving somewhere. Okay.